Hey, this is David with HeavyVinyl.com and uh, MyGlobalMind.com, and we're talking to David from Red Fang. How Hi. you doing? Doing good. Good. So, how are you guys uh, holding up on the tour right now? Good. We started at uh, Welcome to Rockville in yeah. Jacksonville, Florida, and then we've been doing shows with uh, Fireball Ministry, the Bronx, and Clutch on our way up to Carolina Rebellion. Oh, so that's good. awesome. Yeah, it's been good. Yeah, I love Fireball Ministry. I, yeah. I, I I mean, they've been around for a good long while, so that's a, that's how was yeah. it touring with those guys? It's cool, yeah. They've got um, Scott Reeder, used to be in uh, oh, Pius uh, and Goat Snake and all this yeah. kind of bass with them now. I mean, he's been with them for a while, but... Uh, but uh, yeah, it's great. Oh, it's that's fantastic! They're nice, nice folks. Yeah, yeah. They're well, really how was the well? How's the album doing? I mean, uh, you guys released that one last year, I believe yeah, it was, I think wasn't it's it? Been about a year. Uh, as far as I know, it's good. I, to be honest, I don't really pay attention too much to I, I mean, to like sales and stuff. You know, I mean, yeah. I feel like we've been getting a good response. People uh, seem to like it. I feel like it's a little bit different from our some of our other stuff. Maybe it's a little more melody in it than mm -hmm. some of our earlier stuff. A little less punk rock. I don't know. Yeah. But. Uh, you know, it's just we, we're basically we're not trying to be like a certain kind of band. We're not trying to be a stoner rock band or a metal mm -hmm. band. We're just doing stuff that we like. So it's uh, whatever you know, whatever that means. Yeah, so yeah. It's changing all the time, but yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I always kind of felt like um, for a long time I thought stoner rock was a you know a, it was a kind of a badge of honor, but it's gotten to the point where it, it's almost uh, confining. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I, we there's definitely some stoner rock elements in what we do, and there's some metal in there, and there's all it's a blend of things. When people ask me what do you you know like what what kind of music is it, I just say heavy rock. Yeah, and that's my general reply. But uh. Yeah, I mean, I like a lot of stoner rock, but then again, there's a lot of stoner rock that's just kind of not that great, you know? And, yeah. Um, but some bands do it real well. Yeah. Um, and really, to me, like, uh, well, like Doom and Stoner, it's just so much overlap. I don't really care about genres, you know? It's, it's just, I mean, it does help when you're trying to tell somebody what something sounds like, but there's so much overlap that it's almost... It's almost useless sometimes. But. Yeah, it, I mean, a lot of the times when you see so many distinctions where people are like, no, man, there's no way in hell this is post-rock, and you're like, oh, okay. Yeah, I just, uh, <laughs> I don't know, I don't get caught up in genres. Yeah, yeah, I, I basically, I have like the the whole, it's like, well, there's death, there's doom, there's stoner, and yeah. you start branching off when they're like, it's it's post cross punk oh, yeah. uh, apocalyptic uh, you, 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 with the symphony I'm like oh, okay yeah, okay yeah, okay. <laughs> <laughs> but I noticed with you guys that uh, your the newer record actually has uh, more of a almost like a blues sense to it than the previous records is there a was there something specific that influenced that Nah, I don't know if it was anything like intentional it's just kind of what we came up with you know we just kind of we just write a bunch of stuff. The way we write is uh, all of us will bring in little parts and pieces, and then we'll get together uh, at our rehearsal space and um, form them into songs as a band. Right. And it's not really like one person kind of uh, saying, here's the thing, and then presenting it to everybody else. We all just kind of pull these pieces together. And um, yeah, I don't know if there was a conscious effort to be more bluesy or whatever, mm -hmm. but just kind of what we were into. and. It's just kind of what happens, yeah. Yeah, yeah. So I mean, do you guys all kind of do you have sort of a divergent idea of like influences? Um, uh, I mean, there's a lot of overlap between you know the stuff that we all like, but we also all like a lot of different stuff. Yeah. Uh, so yeah, it's a combination of everybody's you know influences and and and, and, and styles, and it just that becomes Red Fang songs. Yeah. yeah. Now, is there like any kind of a guilty pleasure that accidentally seeps in? Well, it's funny you say guilty pleasure because I, I have a thing about saying that. Uh, guilty pleasure, I don't think there should be anything that's a guilty pleasure. I think if you like music, it doesn't matter. Like when I was younger, you know, like in high school, I was like, oh, this band's not cool enough or whatever. But I've, I've come to this, just, I, I think that's kind of silly at this point. Just if you like music, whatever it is, you should just enjoy it and don't be ashamed of it or don't call it a guilty pleasure. Yeah. But sure, like I, like, I actually really love Sheryl Crow. Yeah, like I think most people will be surprised by that. Like, like, <laughs> Red Fang, like oh, he likes Sheryl Crow, but I like all kinds of stuff, you know. Yeah. But um, but yeah, so I don't really think of it as a guilty pleasure. Um, mm -hmm. But like I know Brian went to see uh, Justin Bieber. Uh, oh no I'm shit! Sorry, I'm sorry, not Justin Bieber. Uh, <laughs> uh, it's the other other dude, uh, Timberlake, Justin Timberlake. Oh, Timberlake. Went, okay. Saw that, and uh, I went with my girlfriend to see Garth Brooks not too long yeah. ago, and. Uh, 
you know, I like all kinds of stuff. I really like a lot of different music. So I don't really think there should be anything. People shouldn't be ashamed of the music they like. You know? Right. If you enjoy it, just enjoy it. Don't worry about what other people think. Yeah. You know, I'm, my wife actually said the same thing one time when I was picking up Vanilla Ice's metal album years yeah. ago. And exactly. she just looked at me and she goes, well, hell, you just like what you like, you know? Yeah, exactly. You like what you like. <laughs> and, I, and I agree with that because, I mean, it's it, there, there's always going to be kind of an oddball thing that other people are going to go, that's weird. Why would you For like sure. that? It's like, well, I dig it. Yeah. What can I say? Just, yeah. Yeah. Like yeah. Well, now, with uh, with the new record, you're going to be, uh, I mean, how long are you guys going to be touring? Are you going to be touring the rest of the year or uh, what? We just did uh, about a month ago. We just did a South American tour. Which was awesome. Yeah. Uh, we did. We never really played in Mexico, so we did three shows in Mexico, and then we did uh, Lima, Peru, and Santiago, Chile, and uh, Wow, Buenos Aires, and then we did I think four or five shows in Brazil. Yeah. And uh, so we did that, and now we're doing this tour, which is really not that long. It's just from uh, Welcome to Rockville up here to Carolina Rebellion, um, and then tomorrow actually we're flying to Australia. So we start kind of the second part of this tour. No kidding. Yeah, tomorrow afternoon we fly to uh, Australia. It's going to be a long day. Yeah. Um, and we're doing, I think it's six six shows in Australia, two shows in New Zealand. Mm -hmm. And then we'll be home for a little bit. And then we, uh, we have a few kind of here and there little shows. And then in uh, the fall we'll do another uh, U.S. tour. Yeah, so yeah. So we're just continuing the tour. And right now we're trying to write more stuff. Mm -hmm. um, so we can, because it's, for I don't know if it feels like it's other people, but it feels like it's time for us to start on another album. Yeah, um, yeah. But uh, when we tour, we don't really, we don't ride on the road. Really? We, I mean, we're usually traveling, we're traveling in a Ford Econoline right now. Right. So I can't sit there with a guitar mm -hmm. and play, and uh, plus, on the road, I, you know, I play a show and then I don't really have enough I mean, sometimes I will, but uh, I don't feel like sitting down with the guitar after yeah. I've just played a show. I've yeah. already kind of gotten my musical stuff out, you know, by doing that. Yeah. So it kind of I need I need time at home for writing. So that's kind of what we do. So so we'll uh, anytime we're at home, we're working on new stuff. Yeah. But, uh, yeah. But yeah. We're just still touring and then working on new material. So the road is not really conducive to like you know inspiration, really. Yeah. I mean, every once in a while, like at sound check, we'll come up with something. We'll ask our sound guy, Hey, Adam record that you know, yeah and that might turn into a song somewhere down the road but yeah it's not like we really uh just our travel situation we're not in a bus we're not mm -hmm. in a tour bus we're just in, usually in a band yeah so there's not really room to have like a practice amp and a guitar and all that set up mm -hmm. so we don't do it much on the road um every once in a while something will happen on the road but um yeah but yeah we mostly it's kind of two separate things it's touring mode and songwriting mode at home yeah, so yeah. We need kind of separate mindsets. You know? Yeah, yeah. Now, when you're doing lyrics and whatnot, I mean, what is what what are usually you know the the, the lyrical inspirations for you guys? Well, I don't sing much. I have contributed a little bit to the lyrics. It's mostly our other guitar player Brian and our bass player Aaron. Yeah. Um, but it'll be things that you know from their life. Uh, mm. they, like uh, the song Hank is dead. Um, it's actually about Aaron's cat that died. Oh, really? Cat he had for years, and then cat passed away. So it's a, Hank. Hank was the name of his cat. So that's what Hank is dead. I is genuinely about. thought that that was about Hank, Hank Williams. Williams. Yeah. <laughs> that's yeah. good to know. Yeah, it's actually about his cat. So it'll just be kind of personal things like that. Um, yeah. And I know. Um, well, we like to. Uh, kind of leave it up to the listener to decide what the songs are about. You know, like. Yeah. You know, you know, like uh, Nirvana. Half the time, you can't really even tell what he was saying. It just it sounded like words, but I'm not really sure what he's saying right there. Yeah. But it works, you know. And not that we're doing that same thing, but um, I like to just leave it up to the listener to decide what it means to them, you know. Right. But, um, but yeah, it's mostly just kind of personal things, things from our lives and mm -hmm. uh, things like that. And then sometimes uh, it's not like prehistoric dogs about dogs from outer space attacking the earth so right it can be all kinds of things really but uh yeah but yeah i think a, a, it feels like it's mostly comes from you know experiences and life things uh, yeah but yeah but it can be all kinds of things yeah and it, well it's just another thing about writing lyrics uh as far as our process of writing songs lyrics usually come at the very end yeah we'll write the music and get the song kind of 
kind of close to what it is, and then we'll add the lyrics, and a lot of times that'll change the arrangement of the song. Because mm -hmm. we'll be like, well, we need to do this part a little bit more because the vocal fits more, whatever. So, but yeah. anyway, the, the, we'll, we'll have a basic structure, then we'll work on adding vocals, and then the song might change a little bit to accommodate the vocals. But yeah. 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 Now, I mean, are there a bunch of songs that you've had to kind of chuck off to the side because, like, maybe the you know the structure with the vocals didn't work or something along yeah, those well, lines? Yeah. We'll usually just we'll try to rework them. You know, yeah. They'll, they'll, there's songs that started out one way and they became completely different things by the end. Yeah. Know? And sometimes yeah. not just because of vocals. Sometimes because, like, we worked with Ross Robinson on this last record, mm. and uh, we had some songs where we maybe we tried to cram too many ideas into one song, and he was like, "Hey, just just cut this part out, and mm -hmm. then take this, and just." do that for a while that's all you need like he helped us kind of distill it down to uh just what we needed because we tend to we'll have almost too many ideas sometimes mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. so he helped us focus on just you don't need all these parts just yeah take these parts and there's your song right there but um so you yeah. need somebody like an outside influence that's basically like this would help the song breathe yeah. on some level yeah yeah he helped us just kind of figure out we don't need all these parts we're trying to cram in too much stuff you know yeah, yeah. No, I mean, hey, you guys have. This is the only album you've worked with him on, right? You, yes. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Really now, what was that like? Uh, it was awesome. He's a really nice guy. Uh, and I, when we first were talking about working with him, you know, he recorded like Corn uh, and Slipknot yeah. and uh, Sepultura and a lot of that kind of stuff. And I was like, that seems weird, or at least. Uh, you know, for what we're doing. Yeah. But he's also worked with like The Cure, and he's worked with a lot of different people. But at first, I was just like, uh, Slipknot and Korn, I don't know, but but yeah. it doesn't really matter. He made their record sound good, yeah. and, uh, and, uh, and he made us sound good, and it was really nice. He's got a studio in Venice Beach uh, where we, we lived there while we were, it's basically oh, part, nice. of his, part of his house, so we stayed there with him, and his, he's got this awesome dog, Carl, Yeah. and uh, yeah, it was really nice, just, it was also nice to be, because all the other stuff we did in Portland, where we live, mm -hmm. um, but this was traveling to California, staying at, at the studio, and, mm -hmm. and so it helped us really focus on, this is why we're here. We're here to work on these songs and work on this album. Mm -hmm. So it was nice, you know, instead of you're at home, you know, you go home, you get back into your normal day-to-day -day life stuff. And yeah. It was, just, it was nice to just stay focused on what we were doing there. Because it's easy to kind of go off on whatever. I mean, yeah. not that it's a bad thing, but it, you know, you have divergent agendas, and so yeah. you know, yeah. I, I can see it was that nice. being easy. We were just all there, just doing the album, which was which was cool. And Ross was great. Yeah. Really nice. Yeah. I mean, he's uh, he has actually produced quite a few albums I really enjoyed, I, which is ironic. I forgot that he had done your album because I was sitting there talking about the Vanilla Ice one. He did that Vanilla oh, Ice, you know, from yeah. years ago, <laughs> which was really funny, yeah, you know. He's but all kinds of stuff. Yeah, yeah. I remember he was talking about that was really punk rock for him. It was like, you know, what's more punk rock than doing the new Vanilla Ice? And yeah. I'm like, I can't disagree, you know. I, yeah. I, I really enjoyed that album, which, again, goes back to the guilty pleasure thing. Right. Yeah. <laughs> Anyway, well, I mean, uh, so you guys are going to be playing today. Uh, yeah. What songs are going to be uh, on the set today? Well, surprisingly, we have a, even though we're headlining that stage, I think our set is only like 30 minutes set. So yeah. uh, we're doing uh, some stuff from the new record. It's kind of a mix, actually. I think we have at least a song or two from every album. Yeah. So there's a mix of stuff. There's some new stuff mm -hmm. and some... some classics if you will right right yeah. so it's a blend of everything oh that yeah. well that'll be awesome i mean i'm i'm hoping for prehistoric dog but don't oh, yeah. tell me you know i, I well, will I, that'll be a surprise <laughs> yeah, no, that's in there for sure uh, right that song i think there's only been two shows ever that we haven't played that song. oh really we always play that song. so it's kind of like almost your margaritaville on, on it's, some level yeah. Yeah. <laughs> but i mean it's a good song so what the hell yeah. you I know love I, I love it yeah do, i mean do you get tired of playing any of these songs or are you still good with the most no, of them I, I i still have a good time playing them yeah That's even awesome. the songs that we've played like that one we've played almost every single live show ever yeah i still have a really good time playing it yeah I mean, that's good. I mean, if you're able to continue to enjoy what you're doing, yeah. I mean, that's a big, big plus. Cause, yeah, I, mean, I still feel really, you know, there's so many bands that are really good and they don't, somehow we got these opportunities to tour and, uh, and uh, a lot of bands don't get that, even though they're excellent bands. And mm -hmm. So I feel really fortunate and, uh, and I, yeah, I still have a really good time. Always. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I mean, you guys are going on what, 10 years now at this point? Uh, this is our... 12th year right now. Thir really? We started 2005, so... Oh, wow. This is our 13th year, yeah. Man, well, yeah. you know, God bless, that's awesome, yeah. you know? 
Yeah, I mean, is there any kind of a retirement plan in the future, or is this, yeah, this is it? You know, we're going to keep going until we go. Keep doing this as long as we can, yeah. Okay. Well, yeah. awesome, man. Well, I appreciate you talking to me, Dave. Yeah. Cool. Thank you so nice much. You. you guys go check out Red Fang. It's redfang.com, right? Redfang.net. Redfang.net. Somebody's got.com. Right. <laughs> All right, you guys take care. Bye-bye.